Today, we're going to show you three ways to create breakthrough blog post topics. Welcome to Copy Hacks. Hey Siri, play the Copy Hackers intro music. I couldn't find Cupcake's intro in your music. Just play the damn music. I'm Ange, and this is video two in our series, Brilliant Blogs. If you need to learn how blogs can bring real dollars to your door, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single video. Today, we're talking about blog post topics. You might feel like you're late to the blog party and all the cool topics have been taken. Now you're worried you'll be sitting alone in the corner all night pretending to text somebody on your phone, but really, you're just looking at your sister's Instagram feed for the 13th time thinking to yourself, if all you're going to do is post your TikToks on Instagram, Debbie, just stay on TikTok. That's hypothetical, of course. Yes, there is a lot of content out there, but let's be real. Most of it sucks. If you're willing to dig deep and create something that's going to stand head and shoulders above a sea of mediocrity, then a great place to start is by taking those boring topics and making them extraordinary. That's what we do at Copy Hackers every single day. And it's actually not that hard. There's three simple ways to make it happen. First, you need to find your story. There might be nothing unique about A-B testing, but there's something very unique about your experience trying it out. Here's Joe to talk about how this exact thing happened for Copy Hackers way back in 2014. So this is a blog post that was published in 2014 um, on copyhackers.com by Jen Hayweiss. She worked with us on um, all of these button tests this one summer. And the blog post that she wrote at the end of that was a listicle. It was basically called three things to avoid with A-B testing. By the time I was done with it, it turned into I spent all summer running A-B tests and what I learned made me question the whole idea. And then we get into the story of it. This became our most popular post of 2014, like far and ahead of anything else that we published that year. Finding that personal story narrative saved a boring listicle topic and turned it into a huge traffic generator for us. Second, get your gloves up because it's time to pick a fight. Conflict is at the heart of every story and it's no different when writing really great blogs. Here's an example of a post that picks a fight. It's picking a fight with the idea that Facebook ads are all about images. This is something that we've written about on the Copy Hackers website, that the face that better performing Facebook ads consistently have a lot to do with the images. You test different images. And here, an expert Facebook ad copywriter wrote a post that totally picked that apart and said, that's not right, that's actually wrong. Um, and that makes for a very interesting post. So where do we find this conflict? It comes from a simple formula when looking at your ideal audience. Look for things that are hidden inside the things your audience, X, believes to be true, Y. We break it down like this. First start with X are getting disappointing results with Y. Something like SaaS marketers are getting disappointing results with in-app messaging, for example. Then look at what X believes about Y. Here's Joe to explain using our example. Okay, so you make a big ass list of all the things they believe in-app messaging is all about. It's really straightforward. We're just filling in the blanks at this point. And then we go through and we identify, based on what you know, which beliefs are actually not true. Some will be true. Some are like, yeah, okay, absolutely. But some are not. So we've gone through and now we have anything that has an X on it is potentially where there's some conflict. And conflict is where story is and that's where the best topics are. Now it's time to take those beliefs that aren't true and turn them into your blog topics. Back to you, Joe. So what could that turn into? So you could write a blog post called the only reason for SaaS marketers to use in-app messaging is to message users quickly. There is no other reason. That could be your whole topic. You can make a really interesting argument for that. There's one more way to fix boring blog posts and it's with the tool you use the most, your skills as a copywriter. So as Joe says, be direct response about it. Take the bland, boring topic you have and just make it better. Here's an example. This is now on neilpatel.com, but it was originally on Kissmetrics where it brought us tons of good traffic over the years. It's nine ways to make your expensive product look like a total steal. Some of people might say like, here are nine pricing strategies for e-commerce businesses. Wah, wah, boring. That's boring. Nobody gives a crap about that. They can read that anywhere. That's a really easy Google search. We decided instead to rewrite that into something that's going to be more interesting. So be a copywriter with your headlines 
and take what's there as the topic and turn it into something that's far more interesting as a headline. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more tips on how to write great blogs, be sure to click the subscribe button. New videos are added every single week. Click here to check out some more videos and drop us a line in the comments section. Let us know what you'd like to see us cover on the next Copy Hacks by your very good friends at Copy Hackers.